on this sizzling episode of the NES Pursuit. Oh, sweet relief! NES Complex and Riff brave the grueling 100 degree weather in the chase for retro video games. <laughs> That's how freaking hot! That's how hot it is here today! Terrible things can happen when you don't stay focused in the pursuit. Whatever he says about that Donkey Kong game, I did not! I did not, I stress and repeat, did not try to get it out from under him. Ricky joins the hunt to explore a brand new vintage gaming store in their area. I just couldn't get myself to let anything go right now. Brace yourselves for silly adventures, glorious game hunting, and an all-out excellent day filled with everything you need to excite your nostalgia. Not this time. You got the clock. You don't get a swindle me. I'm keeping this Game Boy game even if you did see it first this time, so it's mine. <laughs> Today I am headed out to NES Complex's house to hang for the day. He's telling me there's a swap meet that's open in his area on Fridays. Good morning, sir. 7.30 in the morning, I was still asleep and I got the text and Riff says, I'm on my way, I'll be there in 30. I'm like, oh crap. The same thing we do every day trying to take over the retro world. Then we jumped in the car and we listened to some Beatles. We rocked out, we both love the Beatles. Oh dang, I want to punch you dude. I want to totally punch you. And now we're here at the Rubido Drive-In Swap Meet on a Friday. But now we are here and the time is now on a Friday morning. Never game on a Friday morning. Let's hope for the best. Let's see what they got. I'll say it, Sega Master System. Let's do this. Somewhere over the rainbow. So right when we walk in this swap meet, I love when we find stuff right away. And I see big, bright, bold colors, old thermos lunch boxes everywhere. These are cool, look at these old lunch boxes. So one of the first things we see is some lunch boxes. There's a whole bunch of different companies, of different offbeat ones. Princess of Power, Ring Raiders. Little Mermaid, Garfield, but one that is sticking out to me the most. Not only do I love the bright orange color, but I love what it says, and this is Double Dare. I love Double Dare for simply the reason of not the show, but because I actually really enjoy the NES game. I know it's cheesy, I know it's nothing crazy, there's some fun mini games. Two thermoses, they're not Double Dare. I don't know if this Yeah, I don't think those go with it. Oh wait. When I asked the little kid that was working the booth and everyone else there how much, how much are these? How much are these little guys? They came back with the resounding, I don't need to take a dollar. I will take it for a dollar. One dollar. So the fact that I can get this, something I love, something that's cool, something good colors, for a buck is a good sign of things to come. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Let me walk this way. I'll do the, uh, the, big the big foot. foot. Big foot walk. At the same booth that Riff got the Double Dare lunchbox, I saw some DS games, and they aren't games I'm interested in. You know, I'm not a big horse aficionado. Ooh, Pony Paradise. But there were DS games, and I looked inside, and they had the Game Boy Advance slot. Uh, Excuse me, how much are these? I like to use the cover project and put Game Boy Advance games in DS cases, so. A dollar for all three? I'll do that for sure. I'll give you, it's nice to pick up a few of those. I got three of them for one dollar. How do you beat that? Thank you so much. I'm sure you know I don't love horses and that's not why I wanted them. <laughs> Thank you. I love horses. You lied to me. Where are all the games? Iron Man? Games? Uh, I don't see any up here. So 
then we see this one booth with a bunch of little tables and they just have a bunch of hodgepodge of random gaming stuff. There's this pile of magazines for a buck each. Normally I'm not intrigued at all when I see stack of game informer magazines. I have nothing against it. It just wasn't anything I grew up with. This one would be cool. It has Tales of Symphonia on it, <clears throat> but it's, uh, it, it's, it's ripped. We found some cool ones and I myself found a really cool Paper Mario one, a Nintendo Power. So this one's really cool though, this Nintendo Power. <clears> has <throat> Paper Mario on it. They had Nintendo Powers and uh, Game Informer and a strategy guide. So I picked up a Rogue Squadron 2 strategy guide. I love that game from the GameCube. Uh, I love me some gaming magazines. Chris was looking at this one because he loves Star Wars. So he'll probably snag it from me. I didn't know that's the way the pursuit played out. The Disney Game Chasers. Game Chasers are lazy bums, but surprisingly clean bums. Duh, I'm a floating hand. <laughs> uh, they also had at that same booth, they had an army jacket, or an army shirt maybe it is. I always like to try to find costume type things, like, you know, I'll put a beard on or whatever in my episode, so. But, that. you know, when I make my Is It Fun videos, I like to have different costumes. Beards, and I have some army stuff already, but I was actually looking for an army shirt. Some army type stuff, it might be useful for a future video, so I'm thinking about it. So it worked out perfectly, so hopefully I'll use that one. So I reached in my back pocket to get some change to buy this water and a $20 bill came out as I pulled my hand out of the pocket. So we're walking and I'm like, what the heck? Where's my 20? And we walk back and just as we're walking back, this guy is bending down to pick it up. And I'm like, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, some, I dropped something right there. Is that a 20? And thankfully he gave it back. But man, if I hadn't walked up at that moment, I would have been $20 poorer and he would have been $20 richer. He would have been getting the deal. It is so freaking hot. I'm sweating like crazy. I don't know if, you, if I have like the pattern here, but my hat is actually dripping. This is one of the hottest days we've had in Cali in a while, and I'm drenched and dripping. I feel like terrible. I don't know what temperature it is, but it's hot. It is hot, but it is a good swap meet. It's hot. Chris is dying. Chris is like, I think he's getting sick. <laughs> he's, we were literally game hunting at one point, and I lit, no joke, look down and I see, as he's looking at 5200 games, there's sweat just getting the games wet. Kind of gross, but dedication. I just need to go inside and have a cold drink. Can we do that now? They make different sounds, listen. <laughs> I don't think they do. Dang it! So then I'm walking by and I see there's some comic books on the ground and I'm not a huge comic collector But I, I used to collect transformers and there was an issue of transformers. It wasn't the best though Eastman Laird This is an OG, you know this is 1989 But what really caught my eye is there was an Eastman and Laird Ninja Turtles comic book number 24 And then I flipped it over and on the back number 25 was there too. So these are uh, Ninja Turtles, Eastman and Laird, and he said that it's a dollar. So, I think I'm gonna do it. A dollar for that, who knows how much it's actually worth. I can't wait to look it up and find out, but I'm so, super stoked about getting it. It's original 1989, so I think it's a, it's probably a fun read. Well, Chris is kind of talking about him. Ugh, this is cool, it's from 1989. Ugh, this one's cool, it has this, I see. Robocop ones are cool because they're like the NES. Game. Then I look up. Oh. And Riff's looking at something, He's, something catches his eye. Oh my gosh, no, not again. Did he catch me slipping again? I see, right in the corner, a turned upside down Game Boy game. I pick it up, probably gonna be some stupid and lame. This was just sitting there. This is why you have to search the bins when it's hot and dingy and gross out here. Look at you would never find a game in here, but. And sure enough, he finds a Donkey Kong on Game Boy. When I flipped it over, it was Donkey Kong on the Game Boy. All right, so I just asked him, he said, three bucks on this. And he asked for three bucks. It's in perfect condition. Donkey Kong for three bucks on Game Boy. I'm gonna have to borrow more money from Chris until we get to that ATM. Sorry. This is bull crap. I'm sick and tired of you, Riff. Doi, I'm a floating me. Hey. I've always wanted to be Billy. 
just not a giant. And it was in good condition. And the funny thing is, I heard Chris under his breath go, oh, I was actually gonna get, no! Whatever he says about that Donkey Kong game, I did not. I did not. I did not, I stress and repeat, did not try to get it out from under him. Not this time, you got the clock, you don't get a swindle me. I'm keeping this Game Boy game, even if you did see it first this time, so it's mine. He's like, look at Donkey Kong, don't even think about it. He's like, look at me with my glasses, yeah, I don't even think about it, I'm gonna get it. Oh, hi, Riff. Die, a floaty neck. <laughs> He's lying. Do you have a six pack? Oh, he said he does. Let me see if it works. Oh my gosh. He's $10 for Clay. Oh, no! So, overall, Rubido, we weren't here that long, but we got good stuff in a short amount of time. So we had a super fun day today in Rubido and we picked up some good stuff. I'm super stoked about that. You know, it's always fun going out with Riff and hanging out. A fun time hanging out with NES Complex, one of my favorite channels like six, five years ago, turned into one of my best friends in the world. So this is a good day. Look at us being lovey-dovey after all the fights. Just the fun, weird things that we end up doing and all the awesome things we find. It's hot. It's so hot. This is really hot, actually. Where the heck are we? I was like, I can't find that. Like, whatever. There you go. No, I gotta change. You look dressed. So today, Ricky and I are headed to a new place that is local in our area called Retro Games Plus. I'm not dressed. It's been there for a while and we still haven't even tried it out. So we're gonna go hit it up. I was gonna bring some stuff to trade in, but I don't wanna let any of it go. <laughs> I already had to cut my, my collection down a little. I wanna cut down some more. I wanna bring stuff to trade though. I just couldn't get myself to let anything go right now. Or should I bring this? Psych! <laughs> we are excited because it's in our area. We don't get too many retro game stores popping up in our town, so this is exciting for us. Let's do it. From Scott Squatch. And he drew titties on the Hulkster. <laughs> you like that, huh? Dave and Joe? <laughs> Turn it off! This store right away feels really comfortable and that's because they have drinks inside for people to buy. They have arcades for people to play. When I see this inside of video game stores, it lets me know they're in no rush to get us out. They are there to have us stay and feel like a part of the gaming community. There's oh, only one button master. Is there really one? So one of the first things I noticed right when we walk in is they have a ton of figures. I love figures. Figures is like, Truth be told, I'm starting to like figures a lot more. Too much. It's to a point where it's not good. Dude, so they got all these toys. But while I was looking for toys, check this out. <laughs> Pretty cool. But they actually had a big selection. It was a good selection. And great, good prices, I'm not gonna lie. One of the first places I go over to as normal is the Sega Master System stuff. All right, so you know I have to keep it going, but this down here is the spot. I'm always really concerned and worried if I should be picking up boxes or unboxed stuff because I know once you start the boxing grind, 
Once you start collecting boxed, you feel like you have to get everything boxed. Right off the bat, I have to look at some of the filler games. I don't go to the more expensive stuff at first. I need like the random sports titles again. Okay, um, I'm gonna get some filler stuff that I don't have, like great football, unless they have it over here. I gotta pick up the fillers, and one of the first ones that I find is great football. First I found it loose for like $3, it's worth paying a dollar more to have it boxed, for sure. So that's a yes. But then I found it boxed for like one dollar more. So if you can get a box for only a buck more, it's definitely worth doing. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is one I've been wanting for a while and the manual is, I mean the manual, the cartridge is really clean. The second one I see box, it's a little more pricey but still at a good price point is California Games. I grew up playing California games on the NES and also on the Sega Master System. A lot of people might not like this game, but someone who has nostalgia attached to the game, California games is definitely a game I like. But California games always loved on the NES and being a California guy. Uh, does Riff ever collect anything but Sega Master System nowadays? California games has been another game that I actually really definitely want to get. So I think I'm gonna have to get it. So that and that. Riff, what are you, what are you, gonna, what are you looking for? So we'll, we'll go anywhere and I'll ask. I already know what the answer is. I just like to ask. What is it? Sega Master System. Sega Master System. Sega Master System. The me is floating elbow. <laughs> hey, I'll carry that box to my car for you. And then. Wow! That's, that's how it works. That's exactly how it works. That's the first time I've ever been kissed by a man. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at it. Ooh, Ricky. What can be cooler than robot demons, I guess? If you get to kill them. Wait, I get to kill them, right? One thing I did see that I had to get it, cause you know, I, lo I love Gears of War. It's, it's a good game, I mean. Uh, the JD Phoenix? The, the weird thing was, this thing was like almost like hidden. Like you couldn't even see it, it was blending on the top. All right, so I love Gears of War, I always have, but that JD Phoenix, Phoenix is one of the artist proof ones, the one that's just no color. It's just great. You know, it was a special edition one. I, I had to get it. I knew I had to have it. I saw these on the shelf, and I knew I had to have them. Yeah, it's a shooter. I love shooters. I know some people don't, but I love it. I walked by the Nintendo stuff, and I was thinking I wanted to get a Styanax. I was debating getting a Styanax the box for 15 bucks. A really good box, by the way, so I was gonna pull the trigger, which is a good game and a good deal, but I don't know how I didn't see this, and I know it's kinda. But as I was walking out, my foot kinda hit something on the floor, and when I looked down, kinda beat up a little, but 10 bucks, this is a great deal. My foot bonked into one of these old school Nintendo carrying cases. It's one of these Nintendo little travel bags. I know it's beat up, this is gonna be not used for me to travel. It'll be a good display. I love these cases a lot because they kind of encompass gaming in different ways. It's not a video game item per se. It is more of a collector's extra piece. It is something that I really like. So 10 bucks, I can totally, totally do this. This is gonna be my grab for the day. I'm not too worried about the condition because I'm gonna be displaying that thing nice on my new game shelf, which I'm building some new shelves at work, which I'll have to show you guys soon. It's kind of collectible, it's gaming related, it's everything I like in that world. These are the things I'm walking out with today for display and fillers, fillers, but I need them for my Sega Master System collection. A quick thank you to all of you who have been watching and supporting. We are so thankful for the growth of the channel right now. Make sure to stay tuned for next week because we have more NES Pursuits coming. Thanks for watching. Thanks for buying me this, Ricky. Appreciate it. What? Riff is also a good friend. He's hyper. It's hard to get him to, to focus. <laughs> Wow.
Watch, watch this. Ew! <laughs> that's how freaking hot, that's how hot it is here today. They're gaining on you, man. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'll never take your gift again! Oh! Is this yours? Yeah. What does it do? Abs? Hot! 